Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I am bringing you your inspirational vitamin for the day, and I am actually going to keep it pretty simple. Um, I really just wanted to read you um, a kind of a lengthy passage in the Bible, but this passage was read at my baptism 11 years ago. Um, and I just like to return to it when I need encouragement or faith or hope um, or when I just feel unloved or discouraged or anything, any of those negative emotions. Um, I like to just return to this because it really does mean so much to me and it just speaks to the promise um, of God's love for us and redemption um, for us. So it's Isaiah 43 and we are going to read verses 1 through 13. Okay. Now this is what the Lord says, the one who created you, Jacob, and the one who formed you, Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. I will be with you when you pass through the waters, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. You will not be scorched when you walk through the fire, and the flame will not burn you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, and your Savior. I have given Egypt as a ransom for you, Cush and Seba in your place, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I will give people in exchange for you and nations instead of your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who bears my name and is created for my glory. I have formed them. Indeed, I have made them. Bring out a people who are blind, yet have eyes, and are de deaf, yet have ears. All the nations are gathered together, and the peoples are assembled. Who among them can declare this and tell us the former things? Let them present their witnesses to vindicate themselves, so that people may hear and say, It is true. You are my witnesses. This is the Lord's declaration and my serv servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. No God was formed before me, and there will be none after me. I, I am the Lord. Besides me, there is no Savior. I alone declared, saved, and proclaimed, and not some foreign God among you. So you are my witnesses. This is the Lord's declaration. And I am God. Also, from today on, I am he alone, and none can rescue from my power. I act, and who can reverse it? I love these 13 verses because it is so peace-giving, I think, and faith-building just to hear God's like declaration of love and redemption for us. And then the second half of this is God talking about his own power and it states his sovereignty um, when he says that I am, I alone am he. There is no one before me and no one after me. And it fills me with just so much confidence in who God is and who he made me. And I hope it does the same for you. So I just want to encourage you guys really to meditate on this um, and let it just like fill up your soul today. Thanks.